event. 30 years ago, here in this very college, in 1993, myself and a ragtag group of other members from various different colleges decided that we needed to sing differently from what was currently happening at Oxford University. At the time, there were just very formal choir groups, and we wanted to come in a more kind of casual, nonchalant, but also super weird way, bring music to Oxford. And it brings me great joy. It's actually one of the things I'm most proud of in my entire life, that for 30 years, this dream of ours of starting this group has kept on going. And this actually, behind me, are members of the oldest a cappella group, not just in Oxford, but in the United Kingdom. And the best part of it is that they've stayed true to themselves. There's so much pressure in college. There's a lot of pressure at Oxford. And the group was kind of founded as a way of kind of a pressure valve, shall we say, of taking a break from your studies, coming in, enjoying music, singing songs that maybe haven't been sung in a choral context at Oxford, and bringing joy to the community. So thank you all for being here with us today. There's so many stories to tell. I remember we had some fierce debates back in the day about what the group should be called. I had some rather unsavory <laughs> suggestions that were summarily vetoed by my British counterparts. And we came up with the Oxford Alternatives, in part due to the fact that the alternative tuck shop is located right around the corner. What you're gonna hear today is very special. For one, there's gonna be one song that we're gonna sing that the group actually just learned you know, hours before. That was one of the original songs that the group sang back in 1993 and 1994. And what you have here also is very special, is this isn't the normal group that you would hear going into the academic year. We have members here who have graduated, who have now come back, all fitting into this magical puzzle in different ways. So part of it might be unpolished, Part of it might be weird, but that's what makes it fun, and that's what we're called the Oxford Alternatives. So with that, without further ado, thank you all, thank you all for being here, and to many more decades of a cappella music. And today, you are all in for a very special treat.
a little bit too funny this feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide I don't have much money but boy if I did I'd buy a big house where we both could die Finding this wonderful, wonderful group uh, that brings us so much joy to sing together and also to sing for you lovely people. So thank you very much for coming along today. So that, of course, was your song, from Nuts and Jump, taking the place down a little bit. And we continue going down a little bit more to the end of the party with some Billy Eilish.
something we often forget to say is actually, as a group, we're not all music students, most of us are not. I'm a chemist, Johnny's a medic, we've got refugees, student masters, we've got all sorts of different people from different backgrounds doing different things united by our love of music. And something we also forget sometimes is actually uh, some of our arrangements are usually done by people in the group, and so that song uh, very beautifully was arranged by Johnny, who was also sang. <laughs> Now, I don't know about you, but that was quite a sad song. And it was quite sad because the relationship sounds kind of toxic to me. Oh, 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 oh,
special for us. I hope you will uh, take our apology for the fact that we will have music, but this is a song that we have not sung before today, and it's a song that was in the original group, as was founded by David all those years ago. Well, another round of applause for the Oxford Academy. May I stand present? You know, when we put together, when we put together the group in 1993, our big goal was getting the group put together, which was a story in itself, and then putting enough music together that we could perform at a Christmas ball. And we did that. And there's actually a recording that was just uploaded of the first ever recording of Oxford Acapella called Rockapella, which you can check out on YouTube. This song, Helplessly Hoping, was one of the original songs that the group performed back in 1993, and it was actually for the first time performed here at Harris Man, actually then it was Manchester College, over there in Arlosh, right around the corner. And when I decided to reach out to the group and say, hey, it's 30 years, we gotta do something to commemorate it, they were gracious enough to, to this morning all come together and we all learned this song for the first time. And so this is Helplessly Hoping by Crosby, Stills and Nash. The first time this has been performed in Oxford um, since 1994 by this group. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they are 
So, lovely audience, since we all love singing together so much, we're hoping that you might actually like to sing with us too. Got any singers in the audience? So, it's a very, very, uh, it's a very well known song that you all might have heard of, and we would like you to sing along with us if possible. So, who thinks they might have a low voice? Have any hands up? Cool. Okay. Could I have a No, that's not these, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not good. I'll sing it first, and then join in when you're ready. Na 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 na
actually done before. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that draws us towards the end of our lovely concert. Aww. You've been an amazing audience. We have many traditions in this group. And it so happens that the one that's developed over the last few years is there's a song that we sing at the end of every concert. Um, sometimes we plant someone in the audience to say, oh, like, can we have one more, one more, one more? <laughs> we'll lie about it. But we haven't done that today. We're just going to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> and that song is Dancing in the Moonlight by Top Loader. It's the very first song that I sung when I auditioned with the group. Um, and for some of our lovely members here, though it's not the end, their time in the group for this year will be coming to an end, so it only seems fitting that it's also the song that we end. So, Rex, if you could start the song. <laughs> <laughs> We're being told to smush it. Yes. <laughs> Do ba do ba 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 do ba do do ba 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 Everybody's feeling cold and bright It's such a fine and natural sight Everybody was dancing in the moonlight It's fun and we never find You can dance and stay up tight It's a supernatural Big and bright, it's a supernatural.
kidding. Um, those of you that have programs, there's a little QR code that I've put on there. Please scan that, it'll take you to all our socials. You can stay up to date with us, see what we're up to, and if any of you are feeling in a giving mood, um, soon we're going to start fundraising for our trip to the Edinburgh Fringe, which will be this summer. Um, it's very hard to get there as a student production. We're all you know, students on the typical student budget, and we, along with gigs that we do and concerts, we also do a bit of fundraising as well. Um, so we'd be really grateful if you could contribute to that. Um, yeah. Thank you everyone for participating and coming along to our 30th anniversary concert. And thank you, all the members of the group. This was not easy to pull together. We had people <laughs> coming from London, I came from Los Angeles, <laughs> from all corners. A lot of these people have never sung together before today, oh, wow. even though we've all sung together in a group. But we needed to do something to commemorate 30 years, and uh, I could not be prouder. So thank you all, and thank you all for coming.
Oh!